So, Prusa I3 Mark III, um, bearings. Some people have been having issues. Some people had some bad bearings. Stick around. Let's talk about bearings on the Y-axis, specifically on the Mark III. I'm Ron, and this is my place. Thanks for sticking around. The I got the Mark III quite a while ago. I was in the first batch that shipped out from Prusa. And I had a number of issues. Uh, I've talked about them in previous videos. But one specifically that I said I was going to revisit, which is now. Um, see, I don't lie. Is the bearings. I had what appeared to be kind of grindy bearings. Uh, so when I put them in, I honestly wasn't 100% aware of the the alignment of them and the manual hadn't been re-updated yet. So I kind of missed that when I was installing. So when you're looking at some of these bearings, you want to make sure that, and you follow the manual, but inside the bearings are, um, well, inside the, the linear bearings are rows of bearings, and those rows of bearings are important because I don't know if you'll be able to see. But you can kind of see down inside there that, that row right there. You want to make sure that those rows of bearings are align perpendicular to the load, meaning that the if the table, when you're putting the table on your bed, you want to make sure that the bed, think of it as laying on top of the bearings, the rows of bearings. So you don't want them off. The manual talks about it now. It didn't talk about it before. Um, but it's really important to do that. Um, now, ew, oil. These things are pre-oiled. <laughs> So my bearings came and they were uh, like grindy. So I put them onto the rods. They just, there was like almost little catches or, and I didn't like it. So I installed, I, I went ahead and did the printer. I, I got everything printing, but I didn't really want that to, to stay that way. So I started investigating other bearings. And one of the bearings that I was kept hearing about was Igus bearings. And Igus bearings are, this is one of the ones I didn't use are these these bearings that are like plastic um, and there's no ball bearings inside them and they're also self lubricating so the the rod slides into here and then you don't have to actually theoretically lubricate it it's all self lubricating and when I installed these, it, I, I don't know if it's I don't know if one if it's a rod issue or what, but only two two of the three out of the pack of seven that I got were, was I able to get where it seemed like it was a relatively snugger fit, meaning that when I slid this over the over the the rod for the printer they felt like they almost had just a little tiny, I mean, just almost imperceptible amount of wiggle to it, you know, like a rotation. It wasn't locked in. Um, so I didn't like that, but I didn't really have any alternative because when I bought these, um, I also tried to buy bearings, standard bearings, in case these didn't work out. So when I bought these, they're LMU 88s and I tried to buy other ones and I don't know why I wasn't paying attention. I got the right basic size, but they're too short. Um, what you want is 24 millimeter in length uh, to fit an eight millimeter rod. And that's what these are, is now I got a nice pack of replacements that are again, 24 millimeters LMU 88s. So now I have the right ones to, to move forward. So anywho, so here I am. I installed all these Igus bearings, 
I only did it on the bed. I was. It's the, obviously the easiest to get to um, because of the way the the uh, gantry and everything is. I didn't want to take any of that apart until I could get get it figured out. So I did the bed, and it, it pops off. It's really easy to do. And I replaced them and was paying really close attention to not over tightening the U bolts because these are plastic, and I didn't want to smash them. So it was definitely smooth, it was quieter, it seemed to be working pretty good, but what I noticed was no matter what I did and snugging them up or loosening them down, if I pushed both sides of the bed, it went fine. But if I cross-loaded it at all, you could just feel it grabbing. So that was telling me that I was getting some twist and turn on the bearings, which is not good. Um, fast forward, I've got now, I, last time I looked it was like 18, so I'm probably, after the couple big prints I've been doing, I'm probably pushing 19 days of print time now, and the bearings were wearing out. All of a sudden, out of the blue, I started getting major layer shifts, and I couldn't figure out what was going on at first and then I looked and basically it was giving me a lot of movement on the bed and it was just catching and that's what was happening. So because I didn't have any replacements at the time, I went in and put the old bearings back in which seemed to be printing just fine. A little bit noisier obviously than the Igus bearings but, uh, but they're working just fine. So at some point here when I feel like it, I'm going to pull them back off and put some of these new bearings in that hopefully will be a lot smoother um, than what came with the, the printer. Um, so anyways, what did I learn from this? I, I don't know if it's a lower quality rods or what the deal is, but these IGUS bearings definitely did not fit well and I don't think it was a good fit for my application. Um, Will I rethink everything? Maybe. I don't know. Um, maybe I need to use higher quality rods. I don't know. I don't know if I care enough about these at the moment to bother figuring it out. But um, did they work? Yes. Did they last? For me, no, they didn't. Um, when I installed the original ones back in, I made sure that they were in line. I still, when I was putting them on there, I could tell they're not perfectly smooth but they seem to work just fine and yeah that's about it um, don't really have much else to say about it I just wanted to kind of get the word out there because I know a lot of people were were talking about them asking about it wondering what was going on and again the keys you want to pay attention to is 24 24 millimeters I'll try and put a link down to, to what I end up buying <laughs> oily um, so don't get the short ones, you'll waste your money. I don't know, well, someday I'll find a use for them. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, I haven't had a desire to go in and replace anything else on it. So that's pretty much all I had. Um, if you have any questions specifically, let me know. If you actually use the IGUS bearings and are having great luck and have printed you know, quite a few days, let me know. I'd be interesting to know down below. Um, or maybe you use new rods. That's kind of what I'm thinking is that you need a, a better rod because they seem to work on the one but not the other. Um, so we'll see. Anyways, thanks for sticking around. I uh, hope it was inf informative or interesting or something, not boring. How's that? Um, and that's it. If you have anything to that you'd like to see on any of these videos, please let me know down below. And... If you are liking what you see, subscribe, hit the like button. If you don't like what you're seeing, hit the dislike. That's perfectly fine. Just kind of let me know so I can make things a little bit better. Um, and that's it. Thanks a lot. Print everything you can.